Hey everybody, it's Mama J and I am here with my swap box. <laughs> I started opening it and then I realized I wasn't filming. Again, this is the last swap that Dave will be running. He is going to step down. I'm going to step back up. I appreciate him taking over for me for the last year. Due to health reasons, I needed to step back, but I'm going to step back in now and we'll go ahead and go from there. We're only going to do three a year instead of four, but if you're interested, remember you can always hit myself, Caitlin, um, anybody doing a swap video, which will all be linked down below. So make sure that you go give everybody a follow, check out their videos. If you're interested, you know, watch the video, see what it's like. You can watch past ones. I have playlists for them all. I will have a playlist for this one also. Okay. So now on to the box. I showed off the box and some of the damage on it. And the thing is I pulled out the card and cause it said open first and then I realized this card is telling me who I got the box from, which we don't do till the end. So I'm going to set this to the side and let it sit there and not tell you guys who I got until the very end. All right. So the first thing I opened, because I was on my second item when I realized I wasn't filming. This is the high five swap. I'm trying to, you know, I'm sitting here thinking I already said all this, but you know what? I probably didn't because that video didn't record. This is the high five swap. There should be five collectible items in here. It could be anything from designer toys to Funkos to something else you collect. Okay. You can have more than five, but you needed a minimum of five because it was called the high five. The box needed to be valued at 75 or above. We're going to go ahead. We're going to bust into this box. We're going to see what we got. I'm going to show you the first item I opened. I actually even took it out of the box, which I normally don't do with things. We got dumpster fire. And this one is the, this is fine edition because it has the dog with the fire. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out again. I have never purchased one of these, but it actually is really cute when you take it out. But I, I know that the person I got this from buys a lot of these. But anyways, there that one is. This is fine. Very, very cute. It's very cute, but this is a designer toy that I've never owned and I've always wanted one so I could look at it, you know, in person. And so it's really awesome to get one because now I can kind of set it up, see if I enjoy it and if it's something I'll want to collect or not, right? That's what the whole point of this is. All right, so let me box that one back up. The next item I opened was the Blockbuster Rewinds. Now, I was a DTSM manager for Blockbuster for many, many years. I ran 11 stores. I was so excited when I knew these were coming out because I thought, okay, you know what? I'm digging this, right? But then I got my first one and I realized how this plastic is made really similar to how the plastic on the Disney movies was made. And if you held on to your VHS, as you know, after many years, they started to crumble. They started to break. You'd have missing pieces because it would dry up, you know, and I'm really scared. That's what's going to happen to these down the road that come five years, 10 years down the road. If you're still collecting and you have any of these that you're going to just touch the case and it's going to crumble like the VHS ones. Okay. So I don't believe that this one has a chase because I know some of them do. And because I'm so worried about how the plastic will be down the line, I'm not going to open this one. I did open the other one, but I'm not going to open this one. Now we're on to the next collectible. All right. So this one is wrapped up like they all are. So we're going to go ahead and get it out of the plastic. It's a little bigger than the other one. So I'm not really sure. Okay. And oh, <laughs> all right. So we got the Superman one of this um, extra large is definitely not my size. Maybe for my big toe. I, I have, or had, I'm not even sure if I still have this pop because I really only keep Wonder Woman, but this is pretty awesome. This is, these are from a while ago that I do know. I don't remember how long ago, but these are the Jimmy, Jim Lee figures, which I really like. I love, I have both Wonder Woman ones, the regular one and the one that came in the box like this. So that's pretty cool. Somebody will really enjoy this. And this is a really awesome collectible. All right, let's see. All right, next thing we got looks to be either a picture or a comic. So we're going to go ahead and open this one. And, oh, it is a Deadpool comic. Makes me think the person knew they had me. This is not a keeper for me. So here's a Deadpool comic. 
Um, I am not a Deadpool fan in any way, shape, or form. Anybody that knows me knows that. So, unfortunately, unless Spectre wants this, this is not a keeper for me. I don't do Deadpool. All right. But I do collect comics, just not these ones. It's a nice cover. It's an awesome cover. I will give it that, but not in my collection. <laughs> All right, but that's pretty awesome. It actually almost looks even hand-drawn the way it's done. So, I mean, it is a pretty awesome cover. It is a variant edition, but it's not a cover for my collection. All right, last but not least. All right, we got one more item here. All right, so let's go ahead and open this last item. Oh, Legos. <laughs> Okay, and Star Wars Legos. Yeah, I this is pretty awesome. I do enjoy putting Legos together. I know a lot of people do. I'm not sure. This one looks like an older one. Not sure what year this is from. It does look like an older one. It does have a Chewbacca, an ATST, Hoth Rebel Trooper. So that's pretty cool. And then I guess that the Legos will build this. Now I do have some Legos I don't take out of the boxes. But that's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. Again, like I said, these boxes weren't built for people in general. They were just built so that you can get new collectibles. I did get a new collectible. I got the dumpster fire, so that's pretty awesome because that's something that I wanted to see in hand. And then Legos, you know, I think every but most people love Legos as long as you have a place to display them. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of space to display them, so I'm very limited on the ones that I will build. Comics, I love comics. I collect comics. Just not. And then, of course, Funko. We all collect Funko. That's how we all met originally. <laughs> all right, so I had to clean up a little, so I had room to move around. Those were my five items. Really awesome items to get in a high five collector's box. Like I said, all boxes were built to prior to knowing who you got. Everything was blind. The boxes were sealed. The cards were in them. Everything was sealed up before you even drew names. That was the rule. So... I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to reveal who I got with this Christmas card. Oh, there's quite a bit listed here. So I'm going to go ahead. It says, congratulations, Swap Buddy. You got me. Woot, woot. This is box is full of all sorts of items that I love collecting. I really thought it out. At least one item should be something you like or collect, I hope. Also included my swag. Stick it on your wall, laptop, desk, fridge, or in the trash can. Ha ha. Seriously, I hope you enjoyed all the goodies. Wishing you the most wonderful. She crossed out Christmas and put swap box and the happiest new year. Your swap buddy, Christine Violet BK Phipps. Woot woot. Stoked. What's up? Stay Funko Fresh, aka the pimp. Does not say that, but I call her that because she's always pushing collectibles on us. That's, you know, when I seen her name, I knew I was going to get a variety, a nice variety, and I did. I collect comics, just not Deadpool. I collect Legos, but I'm limited to just the music ones. So it's all things I collect, just different forms of what I collect. But again, these boxes were built blind. I sent my box out. I don't know if the people that got my box will collect any of the items that I sent and there it's a hit and miss but let me know out of all five items that i got which was your favorite which was your favorite that's what i want to know and don't forget go check out everybody else see who else we got see who got who check everything out uh, we got bk's stickers here let me show them to yours christina and brian uh let's see Oh, this is the Halloween one. This is the Donald Duck one, which I'm not sure if I have this one. I might. I have so many. I don't even know. Oh, okay. Well, I was like, I have two the same, but no, one is um, a magnet and one is not. So make sure you're checking everybody out. You got to watch the videos to see who I sent my box to. Now, you know who sent me my box. Now go see who sent Christina her box. All right, and just keep on watching until you hit everybody up. I'm sure these videos, we don't have a drop date yet, but I'm sure it'll be within two days um, that we'll drop them probably, you know, I don't know if we'll do it during the week or the weekend, but it'll be a back-to-back, -back, probably based on the channels, two days, maybe three, but I'm thinking two because I don't think there's enough to drag it out for three. But again, I'm not setting this one. I'm not back in action until the next one. So... Make sure that you go check them all out. And if you're interested in being on the swap, make sure you hit me up and let me know. And follow my IG because that's when you're going to know that we're taking new signups. 
We are removing one of the swaps this year, so there will only be three instead of four, giving a little more of a gap. So if you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you smash that like. And don't forget, stick around, check out my Patreons, because they get something every single month. And we will see you guys in the next one. Keep rocking. Oh.